Hi and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. Today I'm very excited. I finally found the tool I was looking for to make proper mind mapping. And believe me, I'm searching for such a tool for more than five years already. I love doing mind maps. If you go to the member forum, I have a section in there where I listed all the apps I already tested and I'm not fully satisfied with. So for example, MindMeister, MindChat, SimpleMind, iThoughts, MindNote, XMind, Mindly, LucidChart, Cardflow, Goggle, and Graphio 4. Don't tell me I wasn't looking for the right app. But the thing is, also many people are happy with those solutions. I wasn't. So there are two things I was looking for, which was Apple Pencil support. So I was able to draw my mind maps and convert it into proper and interactive mind maps. And the second thing I was looking for was cross-platform support. If you are a businessman, if, you, uh, if you're a team leader or you have a small company and you have a lot of collaboration going on, then I think you really should have a look at Miro formerly real-time board. All the collaboration capabilities and what else it has to offer, I will show you in future videos. It is cross-platform, so it is available as native apps on iPad, iPhone, Android, Windows, Mac, you name it. But today we will solely focus on the mind mapping capabilities and the best to show you this is using the iPad app. So let's dive into it. So here we opened up a board now in Miro and here on the left side we have the toolbar and there we just tap on the pencil sign. There you see already smart drawing. We can tap on the question mark and you already see what different shapes we can do in there. And another one and connect these two and that's it. And now we can just select these, drag them around, change the ending, change the color of this. It is so intuitive, it's unbelievable, okay? So you see it's also snapping into place and now I can just double tap on here and write something. And it is, as we zoomed in so far, it is really big. So just let's zoom out that you can get a perspective how much space we have to draw our mind maps. It's insane. And the good thing is, I can just type something in there as well. And increase the size maybe again. And you see it is dynamically, so it will fit into this. So what we also can do, it recognizes sticky notes. So we just change the color here. All I have to do is to draw a line like this and you see it will recognize a sticky note. And either you um, tap on there and start writing. So it will fit automatically in here. You can change the size. We can also connect it to a different node. We can change the type of this uh, arrow. So it's always nice looking. Also, there are so many mind mapping tools out there. I always thought they are not flexible enough. Usually you have fixed sizes of different shapes and you have to stick with it and the looks and you have different formatting and so, and so on. You have to stick with it. But in here you can really be wild. You can do whatever you want. And the thing is, I could now do another sticky note Let's do this. It's as easy as that. And now we want to write on the sticky note, okay? To be even more intuitive. Let's make this sticky note a bit, oh well, we just zoom in. We can do it this way as well. And now we write something. Okay, something like this. And now you think, okay, does it connect? Oh, no, it doesn't, but you just go to the selection, you tap onto your screen, you hold it, and then you can select many objects at once, and then you have the option to group them. And there we go, now we can move it around, we can go to the arrow key, and we can connect this, and you see, this is just, I mean, this is really, really great. 
okay? How cool is this? So let's say we created two different note-taking, uh, two different mind maps now. Let's duplicate this. It is, it is as easy as that. And just imagine that you have many mind maps going on and you want to group them overall. It is as easy going to this car thing here and select some of them and you will make a frame. And in this frame, everything is connected. So you can select this frame now and drag around the frame. So you see everything inside the frame will stay the same. So you saw that I actually made a group out of this. What you can do once it's grouped, you will increase the size of all of it. And it stays in the same ratio. It is so cool. I mean, really unbelievable. So again, it is so intuitive. You tap here, you have everything on your fingertip, what you want to change here. You can even change the, the text. I want to dive into this much deeper in other videos, but I also want to show you some of the features that, you know, makes it just much more easy to make research in the web and creating mind maps out of it. You can actually go here. There's a section where you can add more apps. Just tap, tap there. And there's so many apps you can add, like Google Drive, things like this. You can just drag and drop in some, and all the connections, Asana cards, so many things I want to show you later on. However, the one I want to show you today is this one, which is just a Google search field. Let's just put in something like, and we just want to have the logo in there put there and there we go we have the logo of Nochef in there and here again just take this it is as easy as that okay and then we can also go here and connect the frame out of the frame into this workflow you see what I mean this is really so cool. So you see, but you also can just bring in your Photos app and then we can just hold, drag and drop in here. So you see already that you can bring in PDFs, Google Docs and all this good stuff. So all I will do now is just bring in this picture I just selected from Instagram. So it's importing now and there we are. And we can just change the size. We can crop it. It's really insane how, you know, everything I'm thinking of and I wanted to have in this app is available. There's now nothing left I, I would, you know, miss in, in such an app. Something more is um, let's go to YouTube and let's say we want to share this one. And then we go in here and we can paste iframe code. And there we go. So you just paste in the YouTube video you used here. And you see, if we tap on here, we can watch the video inside our mind map. I mean, isn't this <laughs> just awesome? So you can do really research, you know, or learning or something like this. All the resources you have, you have it on your fingertips. Okay, this should give you a quick overview of what I meant about why I think this mind mapping tool is the best you can have, especially if you want to use your Apple Pencil and create mind maps. As I said, there's so much more to discover and to tell you about Miro. I will do later on. This video is sponsored by my Inner Circle members and not by Myro. So they didn't reach out to me or they pay, didn't pay me anything. I found this on my own and I think it's an awesome software. I found there and I will dig into this much deeper. If you also think that's a great app, let me know in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, let the people know that something like this exists. People who are looking for mind mapping for years like me. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and I'll catch you up next time.